HMS Queen Elizabeth, the largest and most powerful vessel ever constructed for the Royal Navy. The aircraft carrier is a floating airbase that acts as command and control of a naval fleet in times of war and peace. When, sir, checks complete, permission to launch the jet single. Most of us will never know what it's like to live and work on board, but you can get a taste of it at the Fleet Air Arm Museum. Welcome aboard. You're about to head onto the flight deck of a Royal Navy aircraft carrier, one of the busiest, most dangerous places on Earth. When they walk through the helicopter here, first thing they're going to see is nine aircraft on what appears to be a flight deck of Arc Royal R09. So you're going to see um, Everything from a First World War stop with pup, uh, biplane, all the way to a um, Phantom, Buccaneer, Harrier, all of our favorites. So you'll see a, a wide variety of aircraft, and then there will be a floor to ceiling projection, CGI, and it's going to go through major time periods where aircraft and carriers had a big impact in, in events around the world. But it's when you step inside the aircraft carrier, the exhibition really comes to life. It's pretty quiet in here just now. Digital technology is used to transport the visitor from the First World War years to the modern HMS Queen Elizabeth class carriers of today. I like the control room so you could see like what they were doing and having a look to see what what it would actually be like. Um, I like being able to see all the aeroplanes and helicopters up close. That's quite different from seeing them up, way up in the sky. This exhibition is based on the layout of HMS Ark Royal. Honestly, it's amazing. It's like you think, oh, it's a carrier experience, but it literally is. You feel like you're on a ship. I love the control room. I love seeing the hologra holograms like pop up. Um, I quite liked coming in and seeing the kitchen. The bread looks pretty good. Um, but yeah, it's just really good. And all the volunteers here have just got so much information. And many of those volunteers are military veterans. When you join a ship like the Ark Royal, there's two and a half thousand of you on there. Uh, everything you do revolves around the flight deck. So it doesn't matter whether you're a cook or a writer or like myself, a, a radio operator, uh, you are involved in some way with the air group. That's what, it's like working on an airfield. Your sole reason for existence is that air group. I was here in 1994 when they installed the first uh, iteration of this current uh, uh, exhibition and it was brilliant. Uh, something that hadn't been done before, long before we had um, computer assisted imagery and all the rest of it. Um, and, and now what we're doing now, almost 30 years on, is updating the whole thing and bringing it bang up to date, particularly talking about the, the new carriers and what they're doing as well. This £1 million refurbished experience should leave visitors with a better understanding of the skill, technology and teamwork needed to power the airfields of the sea. Claire Sadler, Forces News at the Fleet Air Arm Museum. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like and subscribe to our channel.